let's talk about something that you won't see on an Andrew Nimi vlog or in any poker book, really. I call it the anti-sweat. For instance, if you're in a tournament and there's one good player and a bunch of recreationals, whenever the good player's in a pot, instinctually, you want to anti-sweat them. You're going to root against them deep down so you can be surrounded by more recreational players that's going to be more profitable for you. In a cash game, it's the same thing. You want to root against top pros and root for the recreational players so they'll have a better time and they're more likely to give you their money in the future. Predatory, but keep in mind, the anti-root is a fun thing to do in moderation. If you get too emotionally invested in the anti-root, it can really hurt your game. If you're constantly rooting against the other pro at your table and he just keeps crushing, it will bring you down. If all the top pros are losing and the recreationals are winning, that can really boost your spirits and make the game better for everybody. The anti-root is most prevalent at final tables. You'll notice that if a short stack's all in, they might not say it out loud, but deep down, everybody is rooting for them to lose. They want them to lose because there's a big pay jump, guaranteed money on the line, and you're one person closer to winning the whole tournament. Of course, they all shake their hand and say good game when they do lose, but deep down, they were rooting against you. Don't get it twisted. It's okay to anti-root, but just like anything, in moderation. Anti-root with me in the main event, day four. I hope all the recreationals run good and all the top pros run bad. Let me get that easy money. It's my time to shine. Day four, $10,000 World Series of Poker main event. We're in the money. 508,000 chips, 8K big blind. Let's do some damage. The World Series of Poker main event, $10,000 buy-in day four. We have just over 500,000 chips, over 60 blinds, Gus Hansen at the table, bunch of other veteran players. Tough table draw, but we're gonna make the best of it. It's our tournament to win, it's our time. We worked harder than these guys. There is no deserve in poker but we deserve this shit. Let's get it. The main event's a very special tournament. You get people from all walks of life to pony up $10,000 to play a little poker. Rio does accommodate over 8,000 entrants in this event over three days. They do a good job of that. Of course, there's gonna be problems along the way, but I think everybody should play the main event at least once in their life if they're somewhat proficient in No Limit Hold'em. Overall, I had pretty low hopes coming into this World Series main event. 0 for 14, down $140,000 lifetime. It really hurts when you're, it's the one tournament you look forward to the most every year. I don't like doing that. Johnny Moreno busts on the very first hand, and one hand later, we're joined by Cliff Josephy, also known as Johnny Bax, online legend, poker X Factor, backer extraordinaire. He's on our immediate left. And of course, to his left is the Great Dane, Gus Hansen. It's gonna be a great summer. Hopefully it's a great summer for us. Over the next uh, hour or so, very cordial table chatter, good time had for all. We tell stories of my friends that had encounters with Johnny and of course Gus, and uh, we're really hitting it off. But blinds at 4,000, 8,000. Scott Bloomstein shoves all in for 84,000 in middle position. I'm on the button with ace, queen of spades, put in the flag call. Johnny backs and Gus fold the blinds. We're up against ace nine. The board comes. King, eight, eight, deuce. Deuce for the chop pot. Everybody loves a chop pot except me. With blinds at 4,000, 8,000. Asian male from middle position, age 20 to 50, makes it 17,000 to go. I'm in the big blind with jack eight offsuit. We defend, flop comes ace nine deuce, rainbow. I check to him and he bets 13,000. He's gonna be doing this with all of his range, repping that ace. One thing I learned recently from talking to a few Asian guys at the table is they're scared to death of the number four. Four in Chinese sounds like death, so they want to avoid it at all costs. I've been trying to implement this in my game, betting an amount that ends in a four or has multiple fours in it to get more folds. This may sound crazy, but I think it's gonna work. If I want to call, I'm gonna bet something like 28,000 or 88,000. Facing a 
bed of 13,000. The only sizing I can choose is 44,000. He thinks about it, inputs in the call. We're pretty much giving up unless we turn a straight draw. The turn is a seven. If we turn our gutter, we're repping strong, and I bet 84,000. A mix of both worlds this time. Let's see if it works. He asks how much, and I announce 84,000. He goes deep into the tank and folds. I show Johnny Bax my jack eight. We get a nice bluff through. After the hand, I tell Gus and Johnny about uh, my theory with the 4-4 four, four and the 8-8. Eight, eight. And they, they, they laugh and they think it makes a lot of sense. And we now have 500,000 chips. A few orbits later, I raise it up to 18,000 at 4-8,000 with Jack-9 of hearts in middle position. Gus Hansen puts in the call and we're heads up to a flop. The flop comes 7-7-5, seven, seven, two hearts. A good flop for me. I bet 20,000 and Gus in under one second says I can't resist and he makes it 44,000. Just splashes it in there. I'm kind of feeling this for weakness. I think he would have thought a little bit longer. He usually does like the chip dance and everything. So uh, definitely a standard call here, but I think we can take the initiative and make it 94,000. Just a 50K on top, huge sign of strength. Pretty rare to three bet a flop at 775 unless we have specifically an over pair or the random seven. He eventually puts in the call. He has us covered with about 500K behind. The turn is a six. We could have eight, nine. We could have a boat. Pocket fives, pocket sixes. It's time to continue the story. I don't want to check call. And I size up to 130,000 with Jack high. Gus goes deep into the tank and he folds. We take down a nice pot. He asks to see one and we show him the Jack of Hearts. Could be pocket jacks. Could be ace jack of hearts. We'll keep him guessing. Feeling good, up to 600,000 chips in the World Series of Poker $10,000 main event. Thank you. ESPN camera crews there. I might be on ESPN, who knows. <laughs> nice vlog, Mikey. Thanks, buddy, I appreciate it. How's it going? You're creeping up on subscribers. You almost got as many as me. Coming for my spot? There's Doug. I'm coming for his spot, his YouTube spot. Doug, Doug, I'm coming for your YouTube spot. I'm coming. I don't know if you know who I am, but so I'll be there. you my spot? <laughs> yeah. You'll never get it. <laughs> What's your spot? Jeff Boski on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a vision, and I'm good at what I do, and I, 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 have, I love doing it. No, it it's hard work. It you is. know what? Well, you got to add it, right? Yeah. yeah that's but it's easy. still hard work. Yeah. And you know what? I, I never knew it was such hard work that for every five-minute videos, it takes like 15 hours to do. Yeah. That's like five hours of filming and like... 10 hours of editing. It's incredible, but it's worth it. Uh, pretty card dead. I did pick up Queen Jack, suited and off suit a couple times in middle to late position, and I raise it up. Uh, I got three bet once. I got flatted by Ace King, and an Ace High Flop came once. So we lost both of those pots. And we're chipping down to uh, just under 450,000 at this point. With blinds at 5K, 10K, action folds to the button. A French kid that looks like Stealth Monk makes it 22,000 to go. I'm in the big blind with King 10, King of Hearts, 10 of Spades. I uh, could three bet, but I think it's fine to defend. Put in the call, and the flop comes Ace, 8, 7, 3 Hearts. Good flop for us. We got the nut, flush, draw. Check to him, he bets 20K and calls fine, but let's take the aggressive route. We can rep the nut flush. We can, we can rep some two pair combos. We got the nut flush blocker. He cannot have it. So let's put on max pressure. I make it 55,000 and he puts in the call. The turn is a five of diamonds. Time to continue the story. I don't want to check call. Hopefully we can get a fold here. I size up to 110,000 putting the pressure on, putting all of his ace-x combos in a bad spot. He eventually puts in the call. Let's hit a heart on the river. The river is a deuce of clubs. I have about 260,000 behind. We gotta continue with our story.
could check and give up, but this time I feel like going for it. I don't wager all my chips. I wager just a clean 200,000 chips. Big bluff in the main event. In order to live, you have to be willing to die. He thinks about it for about two seconds and throws in one chip, which tilts me. Because it's a call and the stupid one chip call, we show our king high and he shows us Ace of Diamonds, five of hearts, turn two pair, pretty bad run out. Maybe he would have folded if he didn't hit two pair. In reality, he's not beating any of my value hands, just naked king of hearts. Probably a bad call for him long term, but congrats. We now have 59,000 chips, six blinds in the World Series of Poker main event. Uh, we get one shove through, the blinds go through us, we go on break, blinds are now 6,000, 12,000, I have 49,000. Action folds us in middle position, I have 9, 10 of diamonds, a premium. I make it 3x to 36,000. Uh, there's about 680 people remaining. 666 is the $2,000 pay jump from 20,000 to 22,000. Action folds to the same Asian male in the big blind who puts in the call. The flop comes Jack 8 5. Good flop for us. He checks and we check behind. We might have some fold equity on the turn. The turn is a 5, I believe. He checks, I bet 12,000, and he puts in the call. The river is a nine. We made a pair, very good. But he says all in. We have one 1,000 chip behind. Uh, part of me wants to stall and hope for the pay jump because I can just wait. They don't update the clock, so I don't really know how close it is to the 666 mark, sign of the devil. I think for 30 seconds and uh, throw in the call. He shows 6-7. I was ahead the whole time and he hits a miracle river. <laughs> Pay out for a five. Good luck, guys. And I'm out of the World Series of Poker $10,000 main event. Four days, 33 hours of play, 40 hours at the Rio. Just over double my buy-in. Hundreds of messages from fans asking chip counts, updates, endless questions, barely any time to sleep. And now I have to tell every single person that I busted. Pretty tilting. Uh, there's a huge payout line. And the icing on the cake is... Is this line for the payouts? Yeah. Cool. Just in line for the payouts, you know? This is the line for payouts, right? Uh -huh. oh, I'm sorry, are you in line for the payouts? I wouldn't do that to you people. Oh, this white boy is tripping. You people? What the hell you mean, you people? Oh, it's okay. I'm just kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> he got crazy face. That's Dino. Look. <laughs> you already did this bit. It's so fun. I, <laughs> I love this bit. It's my favorite bit. Oh, come on, I love it. It's fun for me. That's all that matters. Making fun of peasants. No, oh, come on. It's fun for me. That's all that matters. Thanks, <laughs> 
So it is nice to get the monkey off my back, get that just over min cash. I know what it takes to get deep. We're here on day four, didn't make it to day five, but it's a learning experience and it's an experience I'll never forget. Shout out to the Rio World Series of Poker and all the crew behind the scenes doing great work. See you guys next year. Leaving the Rio safe and secure, thanks to this fine gentleman. Protect yourself, better safe than sorry. Preparedness is next to godliness. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> We're not getting robbed today. One hour wait in line to get paid our $20,200. And we're out of the Rio, possibly for good. Pretty devastated, pretty exhausted. Time heals all wounds, but an Asian massage might heal my wounds a little bit quicker. Let's go to CCUE Foot Spa. One hour, full body massage, $40 plus a $20 tip. Great value, highly recommend it. I'll give it a nine out of 10.